Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn and Taurus connection reading. And this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take what does. If it does not, leave what does not, as that may be meant for someone else. I'm going to use my Green Witch Tarot. We're going to look at what you may possibly be struggling with or past energies. We're going to look at current energies, what may you may need to focus on, and then future energies as what may possibly be coming in for you. I'm using my Green Witch Tarot, and if you're interested in any of the cards I'm using, please feel free to check out the links down below. All right, so Capricorn and Taurus, Page of Wands, Five of Swords, Eight of Swords, Current Energies, we have the Harvest, number 20, which is a world. We have Six of Cups. And no judgment. That's judgment. Page of Cups. Future energies we have Two of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. Bottom of the deck we have the Lord of the Shadows. Um, and that is the death card. All right. So what you may be struggling with or past, I feel like this is more past energies. We have the page of wands and we have the five of swords. And then we have the eight of swords. Holding yourself back. I just feel like you're holding yourself back. from. Maybe you felt like your partner, like Taurus, was holding you back from things that you wanted to pursue, things that you wanted to do. Maybe that person was holding you back from those new things that you had wanted to do. Sometimes we have those partnerships and our partner is not supportive of us. Our partner, like that could be a way that they try to control us is because they don't want us to branch out on our own, that they want to control things. I kind of feel like somebody was controlling something here. I feel like you were trying to reach out, that you were trying to do something, but you weren't, like it, it wasn't happening. And you felt held back. That's what I feel like. I feel like you were held back there. Current energies, um, <clears throat> we have judgment, we have the six of cups, and we have the page of cups, and then the, this page of cups here, we have that blank canvas here, right? I almost feel like this is a past relationship that you had with a Taurus. I feel like it was a relationship that you let go of. I feel like it's something that you moved on from because that person didn't make you feel comfortable, that that person was holding you back. And I feel like this energy here is that you're starting new, you're starting fresh, that you're focusing on you because judgment is kind of that energy that's coming in for you and those things happening for you. And you're starting a, a blank canvas and that you're kind of starting over here. Um, it could be that you're, but, I, but this energy here, I feel, I almost feel like that Taurus comes back into your life. I, because we have this two of swords here where it's, you know, obviously this person's leaning back and they're like, hey, what's going on here? And this person has their hand in their pocket and they're trying to reach out. And this person is like, whoa, wait a minute. And then we have this, the four of pentacles, where this person's at the door and this person's like, whoa, wait a minute. Like, I've, I've already made some changes here. Because we have these two pentacles that were here on this wall and this person has moved them over here. So I feel like this person has moved and made changes and kind of set things up the way that they want them. And then with this Queen of Swords, it's like, well, I've gotten past that. So I kind of do feel as, as though that you've moved away from this relationship with this Taurus, right? That you've kind of felt you were held back, that you start focusing on you, but then I feel like this person comes back into your life, this Taurus comes back into your life. But you're, you're like questioning that, like before you make a move about that, that, that you are going to make sure that the decision is right for you. 
And then we have the death card with that um, overall energy, which is letting go of something that is holding you back and then having that transition and that change and making changes. All right, so let's look at this. Yeah. Five of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, and Seven of Pentacles. I just feel like it's a relationship that you walked away from. I don't feel like it's a current relationship. Or if it is, I feel like you're having doubts about the relationship. I feel like you're questioning the relationship and you're trying to figure out, okay, where do I go from here? Um, I feel like you're kind of coming into this new energy, that you're coming into this, yeah, Ace of Swords energy. Um, that you want a new start, that you want a new beginning, that you're looking towards the future of what is best for you and what do you want to do because I feel like you have these new emotions and you have these new feelings. We have um, Page of Cups and Page of Cups, okay? So these two cards are the same. New beginnings. I feel like you want a new beginning from this, this Taurus. I don't know if you want it with this person or you want it to move away from this person. I'm kind of feeling like you're, you're walking away from this person and that you want to start out on your own. Um, it could be a past relationship that you were thinking about that's been on your mind, but you kind of realize, why am I thinking about this person? You know, why am I holding on to this energy? Um, we have the strength card which is that confidence. We have that two of pentacles, which is that balance. We have the nine of swords. I feel like you kind of go, I feel like this connection, like this reconnection with this person, right? This person, I feel like this person comes back into your life and it brings you this stress. It brings you this anxiety and that can happen. Um, I also, the love reading that I did for today, I think that it was the same kind of tone was that somebody comes back into your life and you were trying to decide what you want to do about it. I think that's what that was too. So I feel like these are all kind of interconnected here. Um, is that, you know, is it a Taurus that's coming back into your life? But I feel like this brings you stress and it brings you anxiety with this person reconnecting with you. Um, I feel like you may feel some deception, but I feel like be sure that you're not deceiving yourself and that you're doing something for this other person if you are not feeling confident in, in your choice. Like, don't deceive yourself and say, okay, I'll let this person back in, but really inside you're not feeling that. Right? I feel like you've learned a lot from what has happened in the past. And I feel like it's your choice on what it is that you want to do and what is that energy that grounds you and makes you feel good and makes you feel happy. You have to make the choices that are best for you, whether it's whether or not you want to work on this relationship, whether you want to communicate with this person, you have to look out for yourself. I feel like this is very important for this energy here. Make sure you do what is best for you and not put that other person first and, and do what you feel that they want you to do. But I feel like this is something that you have to make sure that you do for yourself, right? Because you've made all this good progress, this positive po progress for yourself is moving away from this energy here. I feel like th there's something that held you back here. It could maybe be within this relationship that you're like you're in a relationship with a Taurus and back here you were feeling you were held back, but now you're coming into your own strength and you're having that communication with your Taurus partner and you're saying, hey, I need to focus more on me. I need to do what is important to me. I feel like I'm always giving to you. You know, I feel like, you know, I'm not able to s pursue my career or I'm not able to pursue my dreams or I'm not able to do the things that are important with me to me within this relationship and these things have to change that I have to focus on me and what makes me happy and I need you as my partner to work with me on this right I need you to work with me not against me so it could be that you have that conversation with that person you know and you say hey you know, I have to work on this. We have to work on this. I want to feel fulfillment for myself. I want to feel like I have a direction and I have goals and I'm pursuing my dreams and I'm doing what I want to do. So that could be either way. So if you're still in a relationship, you're having that communication and saying, hey, I have to find that balance within this relationship to where I have to have those things that are important to me. Sometimes in relationships when there's one person that is kind of having a career change or they're going after their goals, the other person kind of has to take that step back and support that person. But when that person gets to that point, it's time to flip the script and it's time for the person that was supporting and kind of in, in the other role and it, when, for that person to come to the forefront and for the other person to support them. 
And I feel like that could be what's what's going on in this relationship is that, okay, it's, it's now it's time for you to support me. I've supported you long enough. I've supported you for your dreams and your goals, and now it's time to support me. Or like I said, it could be a relationship that you felt held back in, or that you've had this breakup, that you're no longer with that person, that you're out on your own, you're starting your new thing, and then this person comes back into your life and you're trying to decide, do I want to let them back in or do I not want to let them in? And you think about what is best for me? What decision is best for you? And what do you want to have happen? All right, lots, lots, lots going on here, lots for you to think about. But I feel like it's, it's kind of one of those learning lessons again about choosing you and what is best for you. All right, so let's close out with a Lenormand. Right, going back and forth. You could have this energy of you're going back and forth, right? It could be this, you know, one minute you feel this way, one minute you feel that way, going back and forth, trying to work things out, trying to find, trying to get to the destination, right? trying to get to the gazebo here, but you're going back and forth with things. Or it could be the conversations that you're having with Taurus and you're going back and forth, right? You're going back and forth, going back and forth, going back and forth, and you feel like you're not getting anywhere. So what are those cho choices, that, what are those decisions that you have to make to get to where you want to be? And thinking about those things, processing those, taking that time to figure that out, writing it down on a piece of paper, right? Writing down on the piece of paper, okay, what's the negatives and the positive of the situation? If this person comes back into my life, what is the negative? What is the positive? You know, where are those goals? Where do I see my future going? What is it that I want to have? And is this person included in it? Or if you're in the relationship, how are we going to work through this? How are we going to balance this out? All right, thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.